you. Donald Trump continues to get it from all sides tonight. Hillary Clinton and the Democrats are attacking. Some Republicans are equivocating, and others are even contemplating a constitutional end run around both Trump and Clinton. But senior national correspondent John Roberts begins his report tonight from New York with Trump and foreign policy. Good evening, John. Good evening to you, Brett. In an interview with Reuters, Donald Trump today said he would be open to meeting with North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un in an attempt to stop North Korea's nuclear program and that he would seek to renegotiate the Paris Climate Accord in a way that would make it more favorable, more fair, Trump said, to the United States. Foreign policy will be on his agenda again tomorrow when he meets with former Secretary of State Henry Kissinger, but there was plenty else to keep him busy here today. With just 103 more delegates needed to go over the top, Donald Trump is expecting to add the lion's share of Oregon's 28 delegates to his count tonight. But even as he inches closer to clinching the nomination, a highly placed Republican source tells Fox News a group of donors and political insiders is hatching a plan to stop Trump, not at the convention, but in the general election. The idea is to launch a none of the above campaign in a handful of states where neither Trump nor Hillary did particularly well. Never Trump Republicans and Bernie Sanders supporters would be given a third option to vote for in each of those states. The strategy is to deny both Trump and Clinton the 270 electoral votes needed to win the presidency, which would mean the House of Representatives would choose the next president. The last time that happened was in 1825, when John Quincy Adams was elected president. Could it work? Randy Evans is chairman of the Republican Lawyers Association. When I looked at the deadlines for the states, and then when I looked at the polling data in terms of the number of people who are not satisfied with either one of the nominees, I realized this is not a cockamamie plan. This could actually work if it had the right amount of funding. As the group puts together the nuts and bolts of how that plan would work, Trump is about to come under another barrage of ads from Hillary Clinton supporters, using his own words to attack him on women. And you can tell them to go themselves. While the ad came from the super PAC Priorities USA, Trump aimed fire directly back at Clinton, tweeting, quote, amazing that crooked Hillary can do a hit ad on me concerning women when her husband was the worst abuser of women in U.S. political history. An op-ed in the New York Times suggested there may be more support for Trump in the general election than even favorable polls suggest, that many people support Trump but don't want to admit it, a social phenomenon called preference falsification. Because of social pressures, they want to say, no, I don't. But when you get them in a private, personal setting, they say, I am for that. Do you think that, in part, explains the Trump phenomenon? Well, I think so, because like in Florida, I was supposed to win by like 13 points or six points. I won by 20. So maybe people don't want to tell the pollster they like Trump. When he was asked if he wanted to to respond to Trump's accusations that he was the worst abuser of women in U.S. political history. Bill Clinton today said, no, I don't, and then added, I think people are smart enough to figure this out without my help. Donald Trump also today filed his second financial disclosure form, personal financial disclosure form with the FEC. What he said he was proud to say is the largest in the history of the FEC, showing Brett some half billion dollars in personal income. Brett?